British firm Jaguar has quite an interesting history. From its early days as a swallow sidecar company through to the instantly recognisable Mark II and record-breaking E-Type of the 1960s, Jaguar has cultivated itself as a brand that offers both style and performance. Today, Jaguar, now officially Jaguar Land Rover, under the ownership of Indian company Tata Motors, may focus a little less on the grace, space, pace slogan of its earlier days, but after some not so great periods in the 1990s and early 2000s, has enjoyed a bit of resurgence in popularity. It's reinvented itself as a more exciting, less stuffy version of what came before. Sure, it may also have lost some of that iconic styling of the 50s, 60s and 70s, but a succession of solid sedans, the fabulous F-Type sports car and more recently, shock horror, a couple of SUVs has helped Jaguar become a far more popular brand around the world, even though Jaguar Land Rover is struggling financially a little. More on that later. To date, all of Jaguar's successors have relied on a succession of large capacity engines, V6, V8, and of course the much loved XK6 inline six cylinder, which was known for its low stress, high torque, and unbelievably smooth power delivery. Yet Jaguar, the epitome of British gas guzzling luxury cars, is reportedly considering going all electric. And I'm not just talking about the I-PACE, Jaguar's first electric production compact crossover. No, I'm talking ending all internal combustion engine production and switching to an all-electric offering in as little as five years. That's according to Autocar, which reported at the end of last week that Jaguar is considering what it called a full-on luxury electric saloon to replace the aging XJ saloon, with the XE and XF following shortly after. By 2027, sooner if Jaguar Land Rover decides it, the brand could be all electric. We've heard grandiose plans from automakers before about how they want to go electric and Many haven't seemingly done anything at all to bring about those promised changes. But could Jaguar pull it off? Could it become an all-electric brand in a reasonably short period of time? Yes, and here's why. First, there's its sister brand, Land Rover. Traditionally, Jaguar has focused on sedans and sports cars, while Land Rover has focused on go-anywhere 4x4s and through its Range Rover brand, luxury SUVs. But sedans aren't as popular as they once were in most markets around the world. People want SUVs and crossovers, which has left many of Jaguar's models uh, quite unloved. In fact, it's fair to say that any sales growth experienced by Jaguar of late, it sold just under 180,000 cars last year, has been down to its F-Type sports car and its recently introduced SUV models, the E-Pace and F-Pace. In order for Jaguar Land Rover to meet increasingly tough emission standards, it doesn't make sense for both brands to be focusing on SUVs. SUVs may sure be popular, but they're also terrible when it comes to emissions. So in order for both brands to survive, there needs to be some significant reduction in fleet-wide emissions, and that means more electric. For Jaguar, which sells one model for every two Land Rover vehicles sold, Going electric would enable it to dramatically improve Jaguar Land Rover's overall corporate fuel economy averages, as well as allow it to develop electric drivetrains for use in future Land Rover models. To be clear, it is likely that Land Rover will electrify too, it's said as much in the past, and plans all of its models by 2020 to be electrified in some way, but it's more likely that there will be mild hybrids, hybrids and plug-in hybrids than pure electric models. Since sales of Jaguar sedans are far from what they once were, a clean break into an electric brand would probably help Jaguar Land Rover to rebrand itself too as a cleaner, cleaner vehicle. Sure, it would still need to produce a sports car model, which I'm guessing might cross shop against the promised second generation Tesla Roadster, but it could produce an all electric luxury crossover that would give buyers what they want SUVs while meeting emissions targets too. There's an added bonus too of converting an existing brand to electric. Just as Volvo did with its Polestar brand, making Jaguar all electric avoids the let's make a new electric only brand and give it a quirky name that so many other automakers are doing as a way of delineating their electric and internal combustion engine models. As for China, well, it enjoys SUVs too, but unlike the rest of the world, there is still a reasonably strong demand for luxury sedans there, which is why Jaguar Land Rover is reportedly considering building a very high-end all-electric sedan, which would harken back to its heyday, oozing luxury and appealing to wealthy business types who just want to be driven around in a quick, ultra-high-end sedan by their chauffeur. The biggest challenge for Jaguar Land Rover and making Jaguar all-electric? Money. 
But this year, Jaguar Land Rover hasn't been doing as well as it has in previous years. The move away from diesel is costing it big on its SUV side, and people just simply aren't buying sedans anymore. Combined in the investment of its new MLA platform, which is designed to accommodate multiple drivetrain options, including all electric, and the development costs for the iPACE, Jaguar Land Rover is currently operating at a loss. That said, in the electric car world, it seems that operating at a loss doesn't necessarily mean a company is doomed. I mean, Tesla's already proven the demand for luxury electric cars is there, and it's had financial trouble in the past. Jaguar knows how to make luxury cars, and its iPACE is already getting rave reviews. It's just a matter of deciding if or when it will make that switch. That's it. Don't forget to give us your thumbs up or thumbs down, leave a comment, and as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell below. Don't forget too that you can still buy our Halloween special t-shirt by following the link below. As always, thanks to our Patreon supporters, without which we'd never be able to produce any daily content for you all to enjoy. A special thanks goes out this week to The Cub Tech, Stale, Andy, Keith, and Chris, all of whom have joined the Patreon ranks this week. Thank you to all of them, and you can join them yourself at patreon.com forward slash transport evolved. Thanks for watching, and as always, keep evolving. Mm -hmm.